Kia says the Stinger is a Grand Tourer, but it's fair to say that it really does broach into sports sedan territory. After all, Kia says that they benchmarked cars like the BMW 3 and 4 series. And in fact, one of this car's lead engineers is Albert Biermann, who used to be the head of BMW's M division. Now, the Stinger looks great. There's vents and scoops and all sorts. It's a really lovely plunging roof line in the back. And in fact, it's also very practical. You've got a roomy enough back seat, a hatchback-like lift back rear. But what really gets me excited about the Kia Stinger is what's under the hood. In the base model, it's a two liter turbo four engine with 252 horsepower. And when you move up to the Stinger GT, you get a 3.3 liter bi-turbo V6 with 365 horsepower. Both engines come with an eight speed automatic transmission and you can get rear or all wheel drive. But in the GT, you get Brembo brakes, you get 19 inch wheels with some performance tires and you get a different tuning for the adaptive suspension. In fact, with the GT, Kia says that you'll get to 62 miles an hour in 5.1 seconds and you go on to a top speed of 167 miles per hour. I'm really excited to drive this car. It looks pretty cool, and based on the specs we know so far, it should be a ton of fun to drive. Kia tested it on the Nurburgring extensively and on the Autobahn, and the engineers even told me that you can fully turn off the stability control for really wild drifts and donuts. It's fair to say I've never been so excited for a Kia before. If you want to learn more about the Kia Stinger, check out Motor1.com.